Okay, so seeing Colson's talent, what does that say about the Idaho talent out here and really opening your eyes to maybe more part of the West that you really didn't explore before? Yeah, Colson's talent is, is tremendous. Uh, I hadn't personally recruited out in Idaho before. And uh, frankly, a lot of people probably that are back East um, probably haven't. And the thing that stood out to me, uh, not necessarily about Cole, but, you know, throughout that process is, you know, it's a state where they take a lot of pride in, in their high school football and doing things right. And, and uh, you know, the program there uh, is very, very well run. They uh, take pride in the weight room part of it, the, the uniforms, the scheme. Uh, there's very good coaches. So there's, there's, there's guys that are getting coached to a high level. And, uh, you know, I think as guys come out, like Cole, there's going to be more, you know, attention on next year's class. Hey, who's that next guy that's similar to that and so on. And, and it can kind of just build from there. At what point did you notice his talent? Was that a game or a showcase? What really stood out about you initially? Uh, the first, my first exposure to him was just off of his, his film uh, from his junior season of football. Uh, the thing that stood out to me was really just a guy who's making a ton of plays. He's doing really everything for his team. Um, you know, finding a lot of different ways to impact games, uh, offensively, defensively, special teams wise. And it's, it's the kind of film where, you know, you turn it on and, and it just kind of jumps out because there's a lot of things that are, that are unusual, that are different. You don't see guys that are uh, tight ends that are returning punts or, you know, playing in the secondary at times. Uh, and then he just built on it from there, playing more running back, playing some wildcat quarterback, uh, playing all over the defense. So, you know, it's a credit to the, the coaching staff there, all the different ways that they used him and the, the platform that they gave him uh, to be able to showcase his talents, which are pretty unique. Yeah. <clears throat> and how many of your recruits are you getting to enroll early in January? And why is Colston one of them? Uh, why is Colston one of the early? The early why, yeah, why is he coming out early rather than coming out after high school? Hits? Well, that's something that's more driven by the um, the prospective student athlete than it is by the uh, by the school. Um, so that that'd be something that you would have to ask him. Um, but it, it's that kind of thing that the the young man has to be, you know, accomplished enough that he's able to to graduate early. Um, and also has to have the desire to do it and uh, and be ready. And he, he certainly is, and we're excited about it. Uh, but but as to, to what made him want to do that, you'd probably have to ask him. Yeah. And size-wise, he's already there. Coach Anderson told me he's the size of your upperclassmen tight end. <laughs> How is that yeah. such a benefit to you, you know, now that he's about to step foot in your program? Well, we're just really excited. He's a uh, He's a guy who plays a position that is, is most typically a developmental type position uh, where you bring a guy in with the understanding that it might be um, two years or three years for a guy to really get to the point where he's physically uh, able to do the jobs that you're gonna ask him to do. And uh, you know, he's, he's much further along on, that, uh, on those, um, on that track, just in terms of the, the muscle that he has, the weight that he's able to carry. So it's an exciting thing. Uh, so what is Cole bringing to your program already? And what are you kind of hoping to see over the next few years? Uh, the football stuff speaks for it, for itself. He can do a lot, really versatile. The thing that, that I'm really excited about is just what a good person he is, the character, the family that he comes from, uh, the environment that he comes from in his high school has a tremendous track record of treating people really great. And uh, uh, when you can add a guy like that onto your team that you know is gonna be a phenomenal teammate, that you know is gonna be a great presence in the locker room and is gonna uh, help elevate the standard of what you do, you know, that, that's a really exciting thing. It, at, a, at a program like Michigan uh, and a lot of other big schools, you're, you're, you're able to get a lot of really good players, right? People wanna come play for you. Uh, and so the thing that ends up being the, the, the separating factor, the, the, the major difference maker is the intangibles, the makeup, you know, what does it mean to this kid? Where does he come from? 
you know, those are the things that are really going to make the difference. And I think that Cole has those things in a positive way. Uh, and then some, so excited about that. Uh, so you kind of answered my next question, but you know, when you're looking at players to, to come to your program, obviously athletic talent, but what are some of those other key traits that you really look for? Yeah. So, so like you said, kind of touched on that, but you know, you want a guy who loves football. You want a guy who's really passionate about the, the process that goes into becoming really good as an individual and as a team, they love to practice, they love to train, um, you know, those, those types of guys are going to end up, uh, becoming the better players. Uh, so you're really trying to, to find those guys that are, yeah, they're talented enough. They're, they're really good players that they have the, the, the genetic talent. And then on top of that, all right, who's going to be the best teammate. Who's going to be the most likely to, uh, to be able to, to put together a great lift or a great practice on a day where maybe they don't feel like it. Uh, you know, who's going to, who's going to be a fantastic teammate that, the guys that are already here are going to be able to trust and we're going to be able to trust as coaches. So, uh, and, and then, you know, as, as you identify those guys, you start recruiting them and, you know, you, you build great chemistry with certain ones uh, and you kind of get that feeling like, Hey, you know, gosh, this guy's going to be, he's going to be really good. And I really think we're going to have a chance to get him. And uh, you know, Cole's one of those guys and this whole class is, 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 uh, is, is filled with guys like that for us. Uh, Coach Anderson told me that, you were talking to him about maybe other guys in this region that could be the caliber of Colston or close to him and be able to play in a power five conference. How has this opened your eyes? Uh, like I said before, you know, you just, you, um, you typically, you're not going to, you're not going to find something if you're not looking for it. So I think just having a little bit more familiarity with the area and having some connections, you know, that changes things a little bit when, when uh, Coach Anderson can say, hey, you know, you need to check out, you know, Billy Bob over here at this school or, you know, Joey over at this school, uh, it's a little different, you know, and, and you're going to be more inclined to, to go and take a peek at them. So I think just having some familiarity with the region is a great thing. And, and uh, you know, I, I think I think what you're alluding to is 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 uh, is definitely possible that that region can start to uh, improve in terms of the exposure um, and, and, you know, guys being able to, to get noticed and, and go to bigger schools. I think that could definitely happen. Yeah, I know that Highland's been good about sending them off to Ohio State, but then some of the small school eight man kids have gone to Boise State. So it's nice to expand, you know, outside and, and maybe hit up, you know, the Alabamas, the Georgias of the world and the Michigans. Absolutely. Yeah, we're, we're excited to be a part of it and, uh, and re really excited for him to get here. So. Couldn't, well, be, couldn't be happy. Good luck against Georgia. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're excited for it. Happy holidays to you guys. You as well. Jay, thanks for the time, man. Yeah, appreciate it. Of course, it. appreciate you guys.